Happy Monday, happy holidays to you. Um, today's workout is strength and we're going heavy lift. So if you have heavy dumbbells, I say get those puppies out. Um, I'm using 30s, which I'm totally scared about, okay? Just full disclosure, totally terrified. Um, I'm using 12s for upper body, which should be okay, but I'm realizing that's also scary. And then I need a thick towel. I'm using a full-size bath towel today. So go ahead and get those pieces and bring them back to your space. If you do not have dumbbells, um, you could do this workout body weight. I will say this, probably won't feel the same because this is all about loading the body up and feeling that strength work really strongly um, the entire body. So we will move through three movements, three times through, another three movements, three times through, and we're out of here. So that said, we will warm up. We have not started our music yet. I'm just coming over to you to tell you we can do this together. I'm, I love strength, but it, you know, sometimes these heavier weights definitely can freak me out a little bit. So I'm with you. We're on the same team. We're going to try to push each other along. So let's take a deep breath in together as a team. And a loud sigh out. Okay, so we're gonna get right into the, to the mix. Go ahead and hit play in your playlist in three, two, one. Warm up is four and a half minutes. Cool down is four minutes and 15 seconds. And we're gonna start pretty basic. So let's go ahead and move through the wrists. Just kind of wring those wrists out. We're gonna be holding heavy dumbbells, so it's just nice to kind of play with what's going on in the hands today. So now I'm pulling my fingers back, pulling my knuckles back, and then I'm gonna to start to move through the upper body, just kind of start to feel what's going on in those shoulders, nod my head a little bit, good. And then we're gonna move through a big shoulder roll up around and back one more time and then around through and forward one more time and then start to just kind of find a little bit of a row. Reach and pull and I'm really accentuating this rounded and then extended spine. So really feeling that work through the thoracic spine and the chest. Last one. And then I'm gonna go into a nice little side bend Come back through center, take your time on the side bend. We have plenty of time left in our warm up. Admittedly, I did not hit the button on time, so let's just say you've got about two minutes left. <laughs> ah, yes, that's the Monday we were looking for, Mandy, that one where you forget to hit the time. So that said, let's bring ourselves back a little further so you can see this. Feet are wide apart, I'm gonna drop into a deep squat. So in this deep squat, just shift your weight forward and back. Notice your feet and then neutralize so that all of your weight's evenly placed and then rise up. Let's do two more of those. Drop into a deep squat, shift your weight. Maybe this time I go circular. And then I rise back up once I find that neutral position. Last one, drop it down. Shift your weight and squeeze to rise. Good, step your feet a little closer together. Bring your hips, bring your hands to your hips. Hinge at your waist. Back should be flat here. Squeeze to rise. Accentuate this glute squeeze. We're doing a hip bridge today with heavy weights. <sighs> heavy weight. <laughs> Inhale down and exhale to rise. Good. We've got about a minute left on the warm up, so come on down to a half kneel position. So, really important on the setup today. In fact, we're going to spend the last little bit of time working in this position. So heel, knee, hip, other knee, create a literal box, 90 degree angle. I got my back leg tucked, back toes. I will eventually have weights in my hands, so it's really important. I pitch slightly forward. I'm going to lift my way off the ground in this split squat stance, lower down. Let's just do a couple more. So for example, if my knee is sensitive, I would take this towel and put it underneath my knee. Last one here, just to kind of get ourselves settled and then we'll switch our knees just to kind of feel this out on the other side. Make sure you're not on a tightrope. 
So what I mean by that is actually I'll face forward. I don't want this foot in the same line as this knee. I want my hips aligned. So from here, I'm gonna pinch forward, rise and release. Rise and release. One more time, rise it up and release. Last bit of warm up, go ahead and come on down to your knees. I'm gonna bring my arms forward, bend my elbows. So I'm in this rack position. Turn my palms, press, return. Turn my palms, press, and return. Warm up is over here. Last one, and return. Excellent, we will end up doing some chest flies. So I think we got our chest semi-warm. Didn't love it, but it is what it is. Nothing's perfect in this world, right? So let's go ahead and move into exercise one. You may want the towel underneath your knees. Otherwise, pick up your weights with power of the legs. Here we go. I lift my way up. I lower my way down. I'm using my 30s here. Watch this knee, right? I want to push that knee out. Squeeze and release. Ooh, I'm slightly leaning forward. I think it'll be helpful just to see this to the side. Rise. I'm looking down the bridge of my nose. Got about 15 more seconds left. Now before we do the second side, the good news is we get a break from the leg. Okay, this is three, two, one. Set those weights off to the side. Grab your lighter set of dumbbells. Kneeling position. Arnold press, so I'm starting here, out, up, back down. Oh my gosh. Core in tight. Excellent work so far. Okay, good news. We're a little over the halfway mark. Weight should be challenging. Careful that you're not driving your hips forward but you are tucking your seat and your abs are drawn in tightly here. We've got time for one more after this. We're trying to tear muscle, this is good. Set those weights down. Other foot forward. So, not on a tight rope, lean forward. Rise and release. They're not supposed to be fast. So if you get, let's say six done, in the allotment of time, which is 50 seconds, you are doing it. You're doing it right. Yep. Oh my gosh. 30s. You know why I picked 30s today? Because they're usually in, in the back of the house for my husband. <laughs> and um, my brother is coming to town and we had to do a lot of cleaning. So I have to put these weights back here. Whew. That is time. Drop those weights off. Now listen, I've got bad news. We go back around, we do the exact same thing again. We're starting on this knee because that's the knee we ended on. All right, second round right away. Three exercises, just one after the other. Really, it's just two. Okay, let's go. What a perfect track for lifting heavy. I tried to pick tracks that felt pretty aggressive. Whew. Oh my gosh, my legs are gonna be burning today. Whew. Excellent team. We are halfway through. Try to find that upper body. Nice and long, shoulders packed. Every single muscle in my legs are working. Light grip on the weights, wiggle those fingers a little bit. Oh, I'm ready to be done with it. And I know I still have another set. Okay, last one. Calm down, set those weights down. We're back to the Arnold press, set two. Supinated grip, turn the palms, overhead press. I'm trying not to furrow my brow, but Sometimes it just gets ugly, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes there is no way to kind of take it out. We're halfway through this. Oh my gosh. So if, 
If you are feeling like you are now pulling into some really discomfort um, or bad posture, do what I'm doing, alternate the arms. You've got four, three, two, finish this set out. Beautiful, set those weights down, other knees down. So for me, knee closest to you. Make sure you create that box. Oh, good timing. Okay. Just remember, you guys, three sets and done. So we'll see this one more time. We'll start on this side, but we still have 25 seconds left. You're gonna get a short recovery. It's super short. Oh my gosh, we're not done yet. Oh. 15 seconds, you got this. Lean forward, straighten those legs. You got time for one more. Set those weights down. This is your rest. So all I'm doing here is maybe bringing out my hands. Setting up for side number one, set three. Timer starts in three, two, Last time on the right foot forward. Here we go, all the way up. Ooh -wee. It is the last time. And sometimes hearing that, knowing that, you can find a little more energy. You can find a little more power. So now's the time, dig deep. We're halfway there. Oh my gosh. I need a little support for my knee for sure. It's starting to feel it. Right? There's no problem with that. Lost some time, but nobody died, so we're doing great. Oh my gosh. 60 pounds. It feels like 60 pounds, I'll tell you what. Last time, set it down. Good. Grab your upper body weights. Last set of these. Arnold press. Pinkies together, thumbs together. Pinkies together, thumbs. Excellent team, 50 full seconds. We're a little under halfway. Yep, last set of pressing today. Core in tight, support, squeeze. You can do this at home, right? You can have the ugly face at home. <sighs> do it at the gym too, this is three, two. <sighs> okay, set those weights down and let's go all the way up again. Okay, other foot forward, here we go. <sighs> oh my gosh. <sighs> I feel like this is the side I did last time. So if that's the case, I should probably switch, right? So if you're like me and you're realizing maybe you're on the wrong knee, switch it. Yeah, I think this is right. I'm starting to feel so fatigued that it's like at this point, it doesn't matter if it's right or not. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. So close. You're done with that. You're done with that. Now here's the good news. We're moving on. Here's the bad news. We're still gonna use those weights. In fact, we're gonna start with this single 30 pound weight. We're going into a hip bridge. I like a towel across my hips. It always feels nice. 50 seconds. This is nice and uh, symmetrical, so it should feel good. Head, neck, and shoulders are down. Hips rise and release. I'm holding the hex, right? I'm holding the bar so that I'm not letting the weight slide down to my chest. Now, if this feels good and you're like, dude, I could do this with both my dumbbells, because I'm feeling that way right now. I'm like, okay, I still have plenty of time left, like half the amount of time, right? So if I wanted to next set, I pick up that second 30, second 30, or maybe I pick up one of the 12s and I add a 12 and a 30, making it 42, right? Okay. Moving into our chest fly in three, two, slide your weight up, drop that weight off. 
You can leave the towel there if you want. Find your feet flat on the floor. Arms will fly out and in. My low back's on the floor, so if that helps, have your legs up. That always feels more compression-y on my low back. So I could do it that way. I have to use more core, right? Otherwise, I'm just like, I just wanna get through these flies. Another bilateral action, right? So both arms are moving at the same rate of speed. And in. Open up on the inhale, elbows bend. My palms face each other for the whole time, right? I open wide, pull in right along the chest cavity, not way up by the face, not way down by the towel either, okay? This is three, two, one. Bring those weights in, rock your way up to sit. Okay, you have the towel, it's across your hips. We're gonna use it. So this one is the only unweighted activity we've got, but it's tough because we're facing the ground. So arms are gonna start over my head. I pull behind myself. My core is in tight. I'm pulling that towel apart. Head is on the floor. I'm sliding the towel behind the nape of my neck. Press into the toes. Reach and pull. So we're working lats here. So if this feels really intense on the low back, you could do this in a half kneel position. This is three, two, and that's one. Set that towel down. Flip over. Grab it again. We go right in. I know, it seems crazy, right? So hip bridges. So maybe I want to add my 12. So I'm going to hold all my weights here. Lift and release. So as you can see, this timing module doesn't give us much time to make the transitions. So if that means you pause the video and you get yourself back up, that's great. Right? So what I'm doing is I'm taking my 12 and straddling my other dumbbell for a 42 pound lift. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're doing really good so far. We're a little over halfway done with the workout. This is our second set, exercise one. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Last one, okay. Roll yourself up, grab your 12, second 12, feet flat, chest flies. So I'm just going super basic here. You could make it harder, you could float the feet, you could make the legs straight, right? You could lift your head, but here's the deal, right? All these add-ons, all these ways to make it harder, if your weight's not heavy enough, go get heavier weights. I'm not trying to be mean, it's just the point of the exercise is chest fly. So if you're adding core, that's awesome. But unless you are limited with what you've got in terms of equipment, I want you to go back and get some heavier weights first. Then add the core challenges, etc. Okay, finish line here very soon, six. Oh, four. Last fly. Okie dokie. Roll yourself up. Drop those dumbbells off. Return to the towel. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just pulling it apart. So this time, option. I'm going to take the towel behind the nape of my neck, lift, and return. Take the towel behind the nape of my neck. I'm not resting it on my body. It's floating above the nape of my neck. My toes are down. Lift, pull. Okay, almost there. Lift and pull. Why does this feel short? Right, I feel like this is short. You've got five, four. It's possible I messed my timer up, right? Three, yes, Mandy, I think that's it. Set the towel down. Rock yourself up. And we are going to move through our bridge. I just started my timer over so I'm not messed up here. So if I'm feeling like I want to go real heavy, maybe I grab my second 30 
are gonna go across my hips here. So 60 pounds, let's go. So I didn't grab the towel because I was running out of time. I would do the towel next time. But this is the final round. We got 25 more seconds. I'm gonna just gonna, you know, I'm gonna suffer through it. That's why they call it working out, man. It ain't always a picnic. It's just not. <laughs> you know, kind of like the holidays where you're like, everything's awesome. And then it's like, oh my god, I'm super stressed out. So yeah, it's like a little bit of both, right? Four, three, two, beautiful. Set those weights down. Rock yourself up, grab the 12s. Maybe I lift my legs up. Maybe I'm a little out of the frame, right? <laughs> Here we go. So arms will fly out and in. Right along that chest line, right? The option to lift my head, right? So this is what I was talking about earlier. If the 12s are hard and you wanna make it harder, maybe next time I grab 15s, right? Before I lift my head. But I'll tell you, I'm starting to feel those 12s and I've got about 15 seconds left. So I think this is the right weight choice. Here's how you know. Those last few seconds, meaning eight seconds, 10 seconds, it should be hard to, to pull. So that's your time, okay? So you're gonna set those weights down and we are back on our back. I'm literally just gonna roll my 30s off my mat. This is why it takes forever, right? So. Yeah, I was saying earlier it felt short. Well, that's why it feels short because it takes a long time to transition. So I would say, let's just keep rocking here. I'm gonna lift my head and pull. Toes stay down, lift my head and pull. Mandy, what if the towel's a little much? I lift my arms, lift my head, pull. I want your hands out of your peripheral vision. So if you're wiggling your fingers, you cannot see them because we're trying to lift them and pull them away from the front body. Okay, so from the floor, I look like this. Yes, finish line here. Three, two, you made it. You can stay on the floor. So if you want, first thing I would do, and the reason why I stood was because I knew I had to lift these weights with my legs, because they're heavy, is I move my weights away from my, my stretch space. And then come back to your stretch space and I, first thing I do, back. My back has to support me in a lot of different ways. So I just give my back a nice massage around in one direction for three and then reverse that. Okay. Last one. And then we're just gonna let the knees splay open for a moment. Take a breath. And then when you're ready, slide those legs long and we're gonna arch the spine. So now we're stretching the front body here. And then hug one knee into your chest. Yeah. Ankle circles along that foot. Let's take that knee all the way straight. So maybe I grab the back of the leg and pull it in. Point and flex, ankle circle again. Bend your knee and cross your leg over your hip. So I'm feeling this nice little outer hip stretch perhaps. Finding a nice little chest, chest stretch too as I draw my palm so that my palm faces up and I'm pressing all 10 fingernails, excuse me, five. I only got five on the side. Into the floor, my shoulders packed. Come back through the center. Slide your leg long. Take another big arch. Flex and point your toes, and then slide that knee close to the chest. Yeah, ankle circles. Yeah. And then we'll bring that heel directly to the ceiling. Hold your leg wherever it feels comfortable with your head on the floor. So your towel's there as a tool if you need it. So point flex. And then we're gonna hug that knee in, take it across the hip, and I'm gonna to look to the back room. I'm gonna draw my shoulder down. I'm pressing all five of my fingers into the floor. Now, Mandy, what if I can't get my fingers on the floor? That's okay. Maybe I extend my arms straight. And I, that's a little easier for me, and down a little bit. Come back through the center. Bring both of your feet flat on the floor. 
Hands come next to the hips. Slide your shoulders in, lift your hips up, and then we're gonna clasp the hands. So this is a yogi bridge. We're just taking it into this nice little stretch. I feel it through the front sides of my shoulders, maybe nod the head from right to left. Slowly release the clasp, hug the knees into the chest, rock yourself up to a seat. We're gonna 90-90 angle the feet. So I have a little space between my seat on the floor. I'm gonna turn my navel towards this knee here, and then I'm gonna fold over this leg. Stay in this position, take your hand of the right, or left rather, and reach up. So I'm gonna bend my elbow because I have more range. Nice little stretch through this side body. And lift my way back up, good. Without moving the feet, if possible, right, I'm gonna turn it so that now I'm facing the back of the room and I've got this same 90-90. And now you can see there's space between my seat and the floor, that's not a problem. I'm gonna turn my navel towards that knee and fold over the hip. We've got a couple more seconds here, we'll finish this out. Rise your way up, hand comes to the floor, bend the elbow and nice little side bend. Hey, AGs, good kitty. Yes, thanks for all your help today. Return through the center, cross the ankles, ring out the wrists, roll those shoulders, because guess what? We did it, we did it, right Ange? That's right, she's like, I didn't do anything, but I, I tried. All right, have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for coming. Peace, peace, peace.